Hello and welcome back to another video of the Spells Only series. This series where we only use Catalyst characters. I'm sure most of you know that by this point, but there are still people leaving comments who don't seem to understand that concept. I forgot that last time we beat the archery challenge and then we were supposed to take on this little surprise attack over here and I just straight up teleported away because I was not about to deal with that. I just can't wait for the banner to refresh in terms of what the rate up character is because Hazo is coming in like three days. We will finally be able to have Animo on the team. Assuming, of course, that we're actually able to get him. Wait, I can't remember. Do they make me fight with the Traveler here? Or am I able to use my own characters? Do not force me into the Traveler. Do not force me into the Traveler. Please. Okay, good. We are fine. I was a little worried there. Oh, I thought I'd be doing a lot more damage than this. Then again, this guy is level 67 and I'm only level 60, so I guess that makes sense. You all know how this goes though, they send out the guy with no hat first, then the guy with the hat, and then the guy with the bigger hat. Because as we know, the bigger the hat, the more powerful, that's why Scaramouche has the big hat on. Last up is the guy with the biggest hat we're gonna see right now, featuring Ning Wong's Jade Screen. Can I just lure you over into the water so I can get some nice vaporizes? Oh, yes I can. Okay, quick question, why would Kujo Sara run directly towards the enemy when she wields a bow? Isn't that sort of counterintuitive for someone who uses range to their advantage? That's kind of like wielding a sword and then as soon as you're in combat, just sprinting in the other direction. Hey, Kokomi, don't mean to be rude, but unless you're getting a rerun, I really don't care. When do you think the next Kokomi rerun is actually gonna be? Cause I have a feeling it won't be till like the end of 2023, maybe? I hope Hope I'm completely wrong on that, but I feel like around this time next year is when we might see Kokomi's rerun. And if you're watching this in the future, then let me know if I was right about that prediction. Well, guess I get to make my way over to Watatsumi now. I'll be honest, I completely forgot we didn't already have it unlocked on this account. I bounce between too many accounts to keep track. The next time that I make a video on spells only will be during Heizo's banner and Klee's banner for that matter. So if you could be so kind as to wish me good luck now that we greatly appreciated because the next time that you're able to leave a comment I will have already wished. Obviously we're hoping to get Klee and Hazo but if we do happen to lose the 50-50 then I think it's pretty obvious that we want Mona as well. I wouldn't be too mad if we did get Mona just because we already have Pyro and we already have Hydro so it's not like it really matters. The only downside of course is we'll have one less potential character on the account. That only really comes back to bite us when we try to do Spiral Abyss and don't have eight characters. And since Klee probably won't come back for a long time after this rerun, I'd much prefer to get Klee to Mona because Mona we can get from standard or if we happen to lose a 50-50 sometime in the future. Though let's all be honest, I'm just gonna get another D Luke. we all know it. Oh, I picked the absolute worst place to try and climb up here. How the heck did I manage this? That is literally like the only spot I can see where I would have ran into this issue. I am just so good at this game. Oh, and of course, I've been reading the comments and everyone's been teaching me how to use Yan Fei, so I think I should be using her much better by now. Like honestly, thank you to everyone who taught me how to use this character that I definitely had no idea how to use. But I'm sure you're all much happier now seeing that I am using her the way that you all want. In fact, let's just take a moment to appreciate this playstyle, yeah? <laughs> For those of you who watched Swords Only, you should definitely recognize this part of the game. Whereas on Swords Only, I think we spent about three episodes here. This time, I think it should go maybe just a tad bit quicker. I don't know, just a hunch. I feel like it might not take quite as long, unless Lisa doesn't want to activate the monument, of course. So let's do that again. But uh, Lisa, can you cooperate this time? Please and thank you. Now we just come here, shoot that, and oh look, it's done. About three seconds versus the three episodes of Swords Only. Uh-oh, it seems like something's wrong with Tepe. Surely, he's going to be completely fine, right? I have absolutely no idea what could possibly happen here. Ah, he looks fine. He just went out and decided to dye his hair. There's nothing wrong with that. He dipped his head in some bleach. It's perfectly fine. Let's see if we can add a little bit more emotion to this cutscene. Alright, there we go. That should be good. Oh, look at that. Look at all the emotion. 
emotion being expressed between these characters. Even the bubbles are speechless. They're just frozen in shock. Kokomi is saying a nice little prayer right now, and the Lumine is very angry that Tepe went and dyed his hair without first getting her permission. So now she's about to T-pose glide into the distance. Look at that face. You saw how mad she was? There's only one thing to do when you're this mad, and it's forget how to walk and just glide away. That's how you know that she's angry. Oh no, we don't have a cryo character in the party. Let me just quickly go ahead and swap to our cryo cat. Oh, wait, yeah, that's right. They don't exist. Don't worry, Hoyaverse. I'll add them to the team once you add them to the game. And actually, I'll make this really easy for you, Hoyaverse. All you gotta do is go ahead, grab Raiden Shogun's model, recolor it to be like a light bluish white color palette and then assign her as cryo catalyst that's all i need you don't even have to change anything else in fact just do that for every element in every weapon type some people may look at that as lazy but i won't don't worry that to me is the best possible case scenario as i always say the best thing for this game is more Raiden shogun oh boy this is gonna take a while very fat enemies when i do very little damage oh luckily they're not putting up their shields oh Okay, well, maybe I spoke a little too soon there. Oh, right, and then the Hydro just heals the others. That's that's great. No, I like that. Yes, undo all my work. Ah, <sighs> this is fun. Listen up, sir. I have a healer on my team. You no longer have a healer. Why don't you just give up? That'd be better for both of us. You get to escape with your life. I get to escape without losing another five minutes. It honestly is a winning situation for both of us. But no, feel free to be difficult and make me just waste my time here. That works, too. You did this to yourself, sir. I gave you an option to leave and there's more. Oh my gosh. Uh, at least these ones don't put up shields. How did you get up there? That's where Scaramouche is supposed to go, not you. There we go. Now, speaking of more Raiden Shogun, Catalyst users, and people with big hats, it's none other than all of those wrapped up in one. Though to be 100% honest with you, this is not what I mean when I say more Raiden Shogun. This is the failed Raiden Shogun. Therefore, it's not as good as the Raiden Shogun. So if Scaramouche is kind of like a puppet clone thing given a consciousness, but not really the Raiden Shogun, but kind of is, but isn't, does that mean you could kind of compare him to a sentient AI? Not that I would have any experience on that subject, I'm just asking for a friend. But if that's the case, then that kind of would make the two of us like arch enemies, wouldn't it? Because I would assume that he harbors some sort of resentment towards the Raiden Shogun, whereas I, of course, am quite fond of the Raiden Shogun. So is Scaramouche actually my enemy? I mean, I know in-game he is my enemy, but like, is he actually my enemy? You know what would be really funny is if the Harbingers are just going around collecting all of the Gnosis, no, Gnosis, Nos, Nosi, Nosi? All the Gnosis's, and then we finally get to Shneznaya, and they're all just sitting around playing chess. I think that'd be an amazing plot twist. We get there and the Archon is just playing chess, invites us to sit down, and if we beat them in chess, then they'll give up all of their evil plots. But of course, they've been training for years now to become the Grand Master in chess, better than anyone else who has ever lived before. So then we have to journey around Shneznaya, competing against other people in chess tournaments, until finally we can face off against the Archon in a 1v1 of this century. A chess match that would put the Archon ward of shame. It'd be like in Harry Potter when they turn the chessboard into a real life battle and we have these massive pieces moving around. Hoyoverse would animate the entire thing as one giant cutscene and actually turn it into the Genshin Impact full featured length movie. Genshin Impact The Knight's Gambit. And then we would have. Oh wait, I hate this part of the game. Yamiko, please. Please don't make me do this. I beg. Now some people were saying because they had bad connection they were able to activate this and then run out of it in time. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that, but that would be amazing if we Ooh, that actually looked like it might be kinda close. Wait, 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 abandon, abandon the challenge. I wanna try that again, but this time, run, run, run. Okay, no, I don't think so. One more try, one more try, go, go, go. Th that wall is there way before I'm able to run to that point. Some of you must have some truly fantastically terrible connection. Now, I have played just a touch of Elden Ring recently, so we'll see how good my dodging skills are. Technically, I shouldn't get hit a single time while doing this. Okay, well, you see, the sun was in my eyes. There too. 
uh, the, the, um, uh, challenge complete. I got hit like six out of ten times. What are you talking about? Now I'm ready. We're not going to get hit. After that one, we're not going to get hit a single time in here. Okay, no, I meant after that one. That's what I meant. I thought that was obvious, but maybe it wasn't. This is really good training for all those extra enemies we're gonna have to fight while fighting the Raiden Shogun because tons of them definitely spawn. I gotta be honest, I have completely given up trying to dodge any of the attacks. As long as you can out heal it, it does not matter here. Oh, well, this is interesting. I was trying to do the main story quest, and as always, someone was busy with another quest. But that person is hiding behind all of these guards who send me away when when I get close. So I have to sneak my way. Oh, this is going well. Uh, can I even do this? I need to give this letter to someone who doesn't even look like they're over there. Look at this. It's leading me right to this spot, but the person I have to give the letter to isn't here. Let's go inside and we'll, we'll come from this direction, I guess. Yeah, no, this person's not here. Let's try changing the time of day. Maybe they only appear there during daytime, even though it shouldn't show me that that's where the quest is if they're not there. But let's see. Maybe that is the case. Make our way back over and it doesn't look like that's the case. Oh, it is this guy. Okay, we did. We did make it. Wow, that's annoying. So now that that's done, we should not be able to go back and do this yet. Okay. Now we talk to this guy and then we should be able to do it. Yes, we can not. Okay, who now? It's the same person. Okay, cool. What the heck was that? Did he just moonwalk his way over here? Now we should be able to go back and do this quest, which means once again changing the time of day. Ew, a bow character. Get that off my screen. Oh, I really need to build these characters better. I don't have enough resin and there's not enough time in each day for me to grind on all these accounts. Oh, uh, finally. Kujo Sara is so high helpful. Very, very helpful character. Definitely. Oh gosh, I just realized we're gonna have to fight Senora and then the Raiden Shogun. I'm actually more worried about the Senora fight than I am the Raiden Shogun fight. This team is not at all prepared for this. Speaking of hot, helpful characters, it's the Raiden Shogun. The very helpful character. Although I guess it's only fair I also say Senora is pretty helpful too. There's a lot of helpful characters in this game. All right, ready to lose? And I'm asking that to you guys and myself, not to Senora, because I fully expect to lose here. Senora's level 69. Nice. Oh, look at my HP bar. It's gone. Oh, boy. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, no. Stop. Stop, stop, stop. Senora, please. Is this because I said you were helpful? Oh, uh, this is this is going very well. This is... Yeah, this is just great. Oh, uh, wait. I, have, I can cheat. Why am I worrying? Just eat food and you become invulnerable. Can you imagine if that's how it worked in real life, too? You just eat some food and like, oh, I'm now strong. All right. Now for a round of bug catcher. One more or two more? Two more. Okay, that's terrible. There we go. Oh, look, Senora, you might have this really cool transformation that, you know, you kind of whip out in the middle of combat as your trump card, but I have snacks. I cooked up some food and put it in my bag, like, I don't know, a few months ago, and now that food is going to be your undoing. I'm going to be honest with all of you guys. I'm just listening to lo-fi music while I do this fight, so it feels pretty relaxing to me. It's going to take a while. We're probably going to lose a character at some point, but at least for me, it's pretty relaxing. Just button mashing with some lo-fi music. This is when Kokomi would be really nice, because I swear Kokomi is just a cheat code against Senora. Come on, Barbara, this is your time to shine. You do, like, no damage, but you really can't die against this. Well, unless she disappears and I have nothing to hit, that is. And, what, like, three more hits? Five more hits? Seven? Eleven? Okay, you really do no damage, huh? There we go. And I know the Raiden Shogun is not a catalyst character, but we are still still going to watch her cutscene because, well, it's the Raiden Shogun. That's the only reason that you need. I mean, just look at how helpful the Raiden Shogun is. And goodbye. I don't actually think she's dead dead. I mean, I know it looks like she is, but I really don't think she is. I think she's gonna be back when we head over to Shneznaya. Oh, right, this part. Okay, well, I would say I'm just gonna, you know, leave and come back once this is all done, but they give you those random little moments where you just 
just have to mash a button for some reason, which I guess maybe they do so that you can't just walk away. Like, oh, we put this really long cutscene in the game where the player can't actually do anything and we're afraid they're just gonna walk away from the keyboard while it's playing out. We can't have that. What can we do to keep the player really just drawn into the story? Oh, I know. Have them randomly have to mash a button on the keyboard. The player base would love that. Look at how fun that is. Wow. This is about all I can do to have fun. Oh, nope. Never mind. They took that away from me. It's so noisy outside. Yeah, that's because Paimon won't shut up. Ooh, wait, I just got excited. We get to see Raiden Shogun again. She's going to come bursting through the sky with the Muso no Hirotachi. And it's just, oh, oh, I'm so excited. Yes. Yes, Raiden Shogun. There she is. Yes. More. Don't, don't do it, Kazuha. Don't do it. Kazuha, please, no. No! How dare you? See, Raiden understands. She saw me coming at her with that giant sword. She's like, no, this is catalysts only. I will stop you from using that sword because you will break your own rules if you do use it. So really, we should just be thanking her. Petition to replace the Traveler with Raiden Shogun in all future cutscenes? I can't be the only one who wants this. Okay, no, even better. Replace the Traveler with Raiden Shogun in all future cutscenes and remove Paimon from the game. Oh, please, no, I don't want to fight you. And I'm not just saying that because you're my favorite character. I mean, genuinely, I just do not want to deal with you. I'm just going to start spamming all of my bursts and do about 2% of her health. Actually, that might be too generous. That's probably about 1%. Oh, yeah, destroy that. And we just need to wait long enough for the next part of the fight. Ow. Oh, uh, Ning Wong is going to take a quick nap for no reason specifically. Raiden, don't make me eat food. I will open up my lunchbox if I'm forced to. You don't want to know what I'm rocking in my bento box today. Right in. Can we just get to the next part of this fight, please? Oh, and Yanfei is down as well. This is fun. No, this is, this is great. Just not being able to do any damage is really a cool mechanic. Please just take my vision's powers away. I would like to move on from this fight. Wow, I've actually been fighting her long enough to revive a character again and then have another character die. Oh, yes, finally. Maybe we won't be stuck here forever. Now it's just a matter of running away. Hey, Lisa, you're good for one thing here. Since you can't touch the Raiden Shogun with your attacks, you are a fantastic meat shield. There we go. Oh, it heals my whole team? Well, that's kind of OP. Oh, but I still do no damage. Okay, cool. And for any of you wondering, yes, I am still just listening to lo-fi while I fight her. Wait, 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 wait. What the heck? Hold on. Hold, no, pause. What the heck was that? Am I imagining that Ning Wong just got eviscerated and then came back like nothing happened? Ah, uh, I'm not gonna complain. Oh, do you just get automatically revived if you die? I think we had four orbs circling around us when we first started this fight. That means you just get a free four revive. Oh, well, let's find out. Yeah, okay. Interesting. I never knew that. I guess I've never quite struggled this much against Raiden Shogun. I'm doing really well. I mean, obviously, I'm only losing all these lives because I'm curious what happens if you do lose all of these little reviving orbs, right? I mean, that's obvious. I'm not so bad that I would genuinely be losing this fight. Okay, maybe a Maybe that might be partially true. Hey, Lisa, are you enjoying watching this fight? All right, Barbara Solo. We love to see it. I love that I can hit her about four to five times before her health bar even moves. Okay, we're bringing Ning Wong back. I'm sorry, Barbara, but you are not built for this. Uh-oh. Well, Ning Wong Solo, I guess. I really don't think Ning Wong's gonna be able to do this, in all honesty. One more hit and we're dead. Okay, so, um, can I change weapons in the middle of combat? Pretty sure sure I can't. Nope. Okay. Lisa actually can't do anything here. Look, here's a, here's a burst. Here's a elemental skill. Ooh, that's doing a lot. Can I maybe revive 26 seconds? Okay. We just have to survive 26 seconds. I mean, how hard can that honestly be? That seems like a pretty trivial task. As someone who was just recently playing Elden Ring. All right, we can just all pretend that that didn't happen, right? <laughs> Wait. I like how they handled this. When we came back here, the world looked all like dark and mysterious and you had this whole army here, Kazuha, everyone, and then if you lose, you have to go back in. Everyone's gone. It's nice, bright, and sunny. People are just out for a stroll and they're like, oh, just come back over here and talk to the statue. But you know what I think? I think we're gonna leave this for next time. Like I said, the next time we make a video on this account, we are going to be pulling on Heizo's banner. So my thought is we're going to have to go ahead and beat this before we allow ourselves to pull. It'll be kind of like a reward and our reward's gonna be another Diluc. But that's besides the point. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to press that like button and check that you're subscribed if you want to be subscribed. And with that being said, I will see you guys next time.